Hi guys, this is Rob from Access. Dancing to my left is Nate Fox, the man behind Infamous Second Son. Coming to PS4 very, very soon. March what's 21st. Your, what's your overriding emotion now? This is the culmination of years of hard graft and the community are finally going to get their hands on the game. It is a feeling of relief. Relief. Well, you know, you work for a long time yeah. and then it's done and you get to take a break, have a drink. <laughs> And behind us, there's like a whole kind of area here where there's going to be a big party tonight. A load of community guys are going to be coming along. What's it like to kind of work with that community and work with Sony? Oh, man, Sony is great. I mean, they give us a lot of uh, rope um, to just try out weird things. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think that's, that's the best part about working at Sucker Punch is just exploring gameplay and, and following the fun. So. I can't imagine a better publisher, really. Cool. And one of the things you mentioned in the presentation, or the tagline for the advert, enjoy your power. That yeah. seems to be like a, a key vibe in Infamous. You don't want people to feel a bit you know, down about their powers, like no, superheroes no, 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 often, no, no, but you just no, want no, them to yeah. go out there and blow stuff up. Well, come on, man. I mean, what, it's a game about powers. Like yeah. that, That's what people are going to play it for, is sure. to be in that open world and uh, jumping across buildings. Just revel in it, revel in the powers. And I was playing the demo quite extensively, actually, and one of the things I instantly felt was, you know, very empowered and how I could, especially when you get the neon powers, you can just jump over buildings. Yeah. And you were mentioning as well that you've got different powers. I know you can't reveal some of the other ones, but you've got neon for traversing really quickly. Uh, smoke is good for combat. So it's, it's not, they're not just kind of like different flavors of the, of the same thing. There's like, you know, a big tactical advantage to using Absolutely. a certain power at a certain time. Yeah, they, they kind of take on different gameplay roles. Mm. So like you said, smoke's good for close in combat, and if you're kind of a, a chicken like myself, you will hang <laughs> back with Neon and snipe people. And the other powers you get along the way uh, have fill in different kind of play styles. Sure. On top of that, if you play as a, as a hero, um, we kind of reward you for being really uh, thoughtful and not hurting anybody. And if you're evil, uh, we, we really force you to be a bigger, badder monster. Mm. And those play styles are also very different. Um, you know, you really haven't played the game until you've gone through twice. So. And that choice is like a, a key thing in Infamous. You were saying in the presentation how overwhelmingly at the end of Infamous 2, lots of people opted to sacrifice Cole. Yeah. What was that? What was your reaction to that? And you said it also shaped how the future of the series has you know, gone on from there. Like, if people had chosen to keep Cole, would we be seeing Cole now instead of Del Simro? I mean... Yes. So I wrote the evil ending of Infamous 2, hoping wrote, that would be the end of the game. Yeah, that was the ending you wanted to have, the evil. Yeah, man. He was alive. I like Cole. <laughs> I like his powers. Um, but players chose to, to, to let him die. And um, because it's a franchise about choice and consequence, mm -hmm. we said, the players have voted. Let's just make this happen. And in the end, I'm, I'm happy about it because uh, we got an all-new hero, Delta, sure. new origin story, new powers, new city. It's a really good time for people who have never played Infamous sure. to get in. They will, they'll be fine. They'll pick up the story. Cold's dead. If you did play the previous two games, there'll be a lot of stuff that you'll pick up on that other people won't, but sure. really, it's a great entry into, the, into Infamous. Of course, it looks amazing as well on PS4. You mentioned all the kind of things you're able to do with the, the city and the DualShock 4. The DualShock 4 in particular, there's quite a lot of cool things you can do, like I was, you know, doing a security scans, like putting your finger on it. It really kind of yeah. makes you feel yeah. like you're, you know, taking part in the game a lot more than just pressing a button on a controller. Yeah, yeah, what, yeah. what other cool stuff have you been able to do with the controller? Um, well, all right, so this is the obvious. For As a gamer, the most important thing is that those thumbsticks and triggers are so much better, yeah, right? Yeah. So aiming and blasting mm. feels better. Um, the touchpad lets us do kind of like big physical acts, yeah. like ripping off a door from... Uh, from a cage, sure. the player's arm kind of does that when they swipe, so you feel like you're there. But I'll tell you, the thing that I am kind of the most into is the speaker. Yeah. I mean, I, you having the game come through and then sort of uh, be right there in your hands, it's subtle, but mm. I really love it. You guys have got Seattle as your open world setting, and you're, obviously you guys, you live there, you know the city well. Yeah. What do you think makes Seattle a really good open world playground in which to just blow stuff up with superpowers? Well, Seattle is good for a couple reasons. Um, for me, I think it's really uh, moody. Yeah. I mean, the rain sweeps in over the sound and just makes everything shiny wet. And there's reflective puddles everywhere. So it looks gorgeous and it looks somber. Yeah. Um, 
On top of that, the architecture is really varied, so you get a lot of places to hide things and, and places to explore with just different kind of surfaces to scramble up. In Infamous, it's an open world game where anything you see you can get on top of. I mean, Delson's powers are great for, for moving around, and also just his rock climbing abilities are still there. Uh, I think people are going to love just kind of finding their way through yeah, Seattle. What does this mean? <laughs> Am I pushing grass aside? I just did that naturally. Do you do that when you explore? What's your hand motion for like explore? That, yeah, correct. That's how jet, he does it. Jet engines coming at you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm exploring. <laughs> well, thank you so much for talking to us today. Yeah, thank man. you for your time. Infamous is looking absolutely amazing. It's coming out on PS4 on March the 21st. If you want to see that and loads of other videos on everything PlayStation, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>